Hey guys, what's going on? Sam and Wolverine here, back again with MobileTechVideos.com. Today we have our Galaxy S4. This is the International GTI 9500 version, and we're going to root and install custom recovery. First things first, this is where we're going to get our files to root the device and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'll put a link to this site uh, down below, <clears throat> this thread on XDA, and big thanks to the gentleman Coface, Coface, C-O-F-F-A-C-E. Big thanks to him as well as the Clockwork Mod Recovery team for putting together this for us. Now, there's some issues, some people have been having problems with this. We're going to see if it works with ours. Some people say that they go through the process, it seems to work fine, but then they can't get into recovery. So, hopefully it's going to work for ours. It's been updated recently, so we shall see. But, give it a try. It's not really going to hurt anything. And, if you're unsure, just read through through read through the forum here, see if anybody else with your model number is having issues. So in there you're going to see a download and there's this file here, you'll get a zip file. It's the Samsung 9500 CWM recovery and you're just going to want to unzip that to get a folder here and within that folder you're going to have these files Hopefully you guys can see those. I should be able to. We have an Odin file in here that we're going to use to flash this .tar file right here. So on your device you want to make sure USB debugging has been enabled. And if you're not familiar with the new settings set up here, you need to go to the More tab and down to the bottom developers options if it's not in there you're going to go to about phone and you're going to tap on the build number tap 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 until you get the little uh, message saying that it's been opened then you're going to go into developer options and you just want to make sure USB debugging is checked now the phone is ready we want to right click on Odin and choose run as administrator. Get our little message here and we just click yes. Odin pops up. Now you want to make sure these two are checked and the one in the middle is not. Then you're going to come down to PDA. Click on it. And it should navigate to where you have your uh, files here. If for some reason it doesn't open up that window, just navigate to wherever you have the, you unzip that file. And you have two tar files in here. It says in the thread to use the, the EN file. So that's what we're going to do first. And hopefully it works. Double click it, it puts it into the PDA section and you get the little check mark. Now we need to plug our phone in, we need to put it into download mode first. So I'm just going to power it off first. And then now that it's powered off, I want to hold the volume down, the home button and power button. And there we go, we get the uh, the warning screen talking about installing a custom OS. Volume up if you want to continue, volume down if you want to uh, exit. So we're going to volume up, now we're in download mode. And we want to plug in the cord here. and we get our blue window there and down here it says added so that's how we know everything is working fine 
Now before you do any of this, of course, you have to install the drivers. Uh, as always, anytime you are flashing anything or connecting any device to your computer, you have to install the drivers. For Samsung, the easiest way is to install Samsung Keys, which you can just do a Google search for Samsung Keys and you can find tons of downloads. So we got our phone here, we got added blue COM port there. We have our .tar in the PDA section. All we have to do is select start. Now when I select this, it's gonna happen really fast. I mean, in fact, like don't blink because you'll miss it. You'll get a little progress bar on the phone, you'll get a progress bar up there, and then it should say pass. So let's see. And there it is. <laughs> I mean, it's really that quick. Pass, we got the little bar, and our phone is rebooting. You can unplug it. We are done basically with the computer. Everything else is going to be on the phone. The first thing we have to do is to get into recovery, Clockwork Mod Recovery. And the way we are going to do that is to hold volume up, the power button, or the home button, and the power button. When you see the Samsung logo, you let go of the power button. Let go of all the buttons. And here we are in Clockwork Mod, so it seems to have worked correctly, no problems. Down here towards the bottom is Root Your Phone, that's what we want to click on. Now we are presented with uh, a couple options, root your phone new method, root your phone old method. It depends on what firmware version you have. Just check the thread to find out which one you have. I'm going to do new method. So it went very quickly. It said now rooting your phone. Then it says root done. Please reboot. So. Reboot system. That's what we're going to do. I'll be right back when this boots up. All right, sorry about that. I had some camera difficulties, uh, but we are here. Let's take a look, and we do have the Super SU app there, which doesn't necessarily mean that we are rooted. So I went ahead and installed the Root Checker app and verify root access. And there you go, congratulations, device is rooted. So big thanks once again uh, to Coface, C-O-F-F-A-C-E, however it's pronounced. Either way, did a great job and we appreciate it. I will put a link to that thread down below as always. Big thanks to Wolverine for making an appearance on today's show. And as always, guys, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If I can help, I definitely will, or at least point you in the right direction. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.